Hey everybody, how is everybody doing? Everybody doing okay? Welcome back to Bring Your Boys Commentary. This is the platform, as you know, where we get information and positivity in relation to Jamaican football. Now, as you know, as the respective English leagues are coming to a close, and what does that mean? Well, that means that you have some teams still with a fighting chance of getting promoted to the tier above. So we have some Jamaican involvement in that will be in the championship playoffs the League One playoffs, and even the League Two playoffs as well. Yep, that is right. And what I'm going to do over the next few minutes is show you guys the Jamaicans that are involved in this and also the timelines as well, because as you all know, the Gold Cup is right around the corner. Yep, that's right. The Gold Cup is June 16 to July 16. Jamaica's first game, June 24. You see what I'm saying? And as you guys are aware, the FA Cup final is June 3, and the playoff finals would be in early June. But firstly, let's break down the Jamaicans that are going to be involved, and also the Jamaicans with one game to go left in the season that are on the cusp of that playoff position, okay? So first thing first, let's look at the championship, okay? The championship is the first division that we're going to look at. And as you know, in relation to the championship, the playoffs will serve as promotion towards the Premier League. All right, the Premier League itself. So that is what we analyze, that is what we look at in relation to the championship so that you all are aware. So on your screen right now, you see the championship standings. Burnley, or based in Lancashire, are promoted to the Premier League. So are Sheffield United. They will also be promoted to the Premier League. Now, you see those teams that have a Q beside it? Luton Town and Middlesbrough? Those teams have qualified for the playoffs. Luton Town has Amari Bell. So Reggae Boy Amari Bell will be involved within the playoffs. That's right. He will be involved within the championship playoffs. That's right. The championship playoffs is a, an opportunity to go to the Premier League. All right. Middlesbrough. On Middlesbrough, there's George Grant Jr., who has a Jamaican passport. And we know the players of Jamaican heritage already. Pat Middlesbrough, the likes of Cameron Archer and Aaron Ramsey. We know about them already. Now, if you see right now, you have Coventry City on 69 points, Millwall on 68 points, Sunderland on 66, West Bromwich Albion 66, and Blackburn Rovers 65. So those five teams fighting for two spots. Coventry are in the driver's seat right now, and so are Millwall. At Coventry, there's Casey Palmer who made his debut for Jamaica in 2021, and also Josh Wilson S. Brand as well. Millwall has Tyler Burry. That's right. And at Sunderland, Cuba Mitchell. West Bromwich Albion, as you know, is a hot and a hotbed for Jamaican talent as well. The Midlands generally, Birmingham City, West Bromwich Albion, Aston Villa, Wolverhampton Wanderers, Coventry City, Walsall, those six in particular, hotbeds for Jamaican talent. So with that being said now, one more game to go in the championship, and then we'll know if Casey Palmer will be involved in the playoffs. And also if, for an example, a Cuba Mitchell at Sunderland could be involved within the playoffs as well. So that is the championship. Let's now look at League One. How is League One stacking up at this point in time? Well, if you look at League One right now at the standings, you'll see that Plymouth Argyle are running away. And firstly, we want to say a big and a massive congratulations to Greg Lee for being promoted to the championship. That's right, Greg Lee at Ipswich Town, they have been promoted to the championship. They finish in the top two. Next week, we'll see if they'll actually win the League One title. But for now, we know that they are promoted to the championship. Yep, that is right. They are promoted to the championship. Plymouth Argyle are going to the championship. Ipswich Town also going to the championship as well. To be quite frank, I'm disappointed at Sheffield Wednesday 
did not gain automatic promotion under Darren Moore. With tw- that 25-game run, Sheffield Wednesday were at the top of the table for quite some time. And then the winter stretched with three games without a win and then slipped to third. It was disappointing. But they do have a second bite to the cherry, as you all are aware. At Sheffield Wednesday, we've spoken about you know the likes of uh, Jaden Brown and also uh, Marvin Johnson in terms of those individuals that are working on getting their necessary paperwork. You know, this is something that was just October last year. Well, the process Barnes, as we know, has John Russell, who made his debut for Jamaica against Mexico. So that cue means that he will be involved within the playoffs. Devante Cole, the son of Andy Cole, he's at Barnsley. And we know Bolton Wanderers, they've secured it as well. And we have to wait and see if Derby or Peterborough United. At Peterborough United, regular boy Johnson Clark Harris is at Peterborough United. So not only does Peterborough have to win, but Peterborough would have to hope that Derby County loses their next game. Or or Peterborough wins by a four-goal margin and Derby County draws the game. That would be the way that Peterborough would get into the top six in particular. All right, so that you guys are fully aware with all of this, okay? To help put everything into perspective with things. All right, guys, so that is the situation here. And of course, as you know, if Peterborough are not in the not in the playoffs, then that means that their season is done next week, simply put. So one thing Pinoche for sure in relation to the playoffs, Sheffield Wednesday, they'll play the team that finishes sixth in the league. So whoever finishes sixth, Sheffield um, Wednesday would play. So Darren Moore and company would take on either Derby County or Peterborough United. Or if Derby County wins their next game and Bolton loses, then that would mean that Sheffield Wednesday would play against Bolton. Yeah. So it's going to be two legs for the semifinals and one leg for the final at Wembley. And when would those playoffs take place? We still have the League Two to consider, but I want you guys to make notes of these dates, all right? The championship final, May 27. League One final, May 29. League Two final, May 28. So, this means extra involvement for national players. Extra. Extra. So, League Two now. Let's look at League Two and the sort of involvement that will take place. Now, in League Two in particular, the teams that have secured automatic promotion to League Two are Leighton Orient, formerly managed by Joby Makinoff. Also, Stevenage, Northampton Town. Starport County are into the... They're secured of at least the playoffs, but they could get automatic promotion. I know John Kimani Gordon is there, right? But at Salford City, it is Adrian Mariapa. That's right. And Salford City, all they would need is a point. And once Salford City gets that point, they will be in the League 2 playoffs. So now that we have captured all of this in terms of Jamaicans, reggae boys involved within the playoffs, right? Let's look at it. So Amari Bell, right? Adrian Mariapa. Maybe, maybe Johnson Clark Harris. So we will have national players involved within the playoffs. That is a fact. And the final of these playoffs, we're looking at May 27, May 28, May 29. After this, we're looking at a period of time where the players would be able to recharge their batteries. And if they're included in the Gold Cup, would have a couple of days or so to, to recharge the batteries and then fly west across the Atlantic to join up for the Gold Cup campaign. So my thoughts about the Jamaicans in the playoffs, I'm hoping that all the Jamaicans involved go as far as possible and gain respective promotions to promotion to League One, promotion to the Championship, promotion to the Premier League. Amara Bell in the Premier League next season. That would be fantastic, wouldn't it? So it's something that I'm really looking forward to. And let's wish all our Jamaicans all the best. Remember, next weekend would be the last weekend for League One, Championship, uh, League Two. So we can be able to say, okay, all right. These are the players that will be definitely in the playoffs. 
these are the players that missed out on the playoffs. So we know that their season is done as of May 5 or as of May 6 or as of May 7. And they get a week with a family, perhaps go to Dubai, perhaps go to uh, the Canary Islands, chill out on the beach, and then get their mind and uh, heart in, in condition for the Gold Cup itself. So right now, this is where we're at. Let me know your thoughts as well. Looking forward to hearing from you guys as well. Are you excited to see these Jamaicans involved within the playoffs? Let me know your thoughts. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button right now.